Sorry, I'm just trying to get the headphone jack in the right place. PS Now, is that what it is? Yeah. There we go, got it. Damn it, it went again! I'd say it's worth it. If there's games on there you want to play as well, obviously. There's EA Access as well, which I got for a small amount of time. Uh, mainly because I was playing Skate. <laughs> I love yeah. the Skate games. But like, I mean, it's got like Battlefield, it's got uh, like The Sims, and it's got some cool games on there. But it is mainly the sport games, and I uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I don't really like sports that much. Uh, unless it's skateboarding. Or, um... WWE Wrestling, because I love watching men fight in their pants. Who doesn't? Dude, it's such a sick game, man. I love it. It is the shit. It is a sport, man. Are you fucking crazy? WWE is sports entertainment. Skate 3 is massive, bro. Uh, skate is, skating is massive. I used to be a skater boy, until I said see you later, bo boy. What? Let's go meet Irish. Yeah, that's right. Like, shout out to Ty Tycoon, though. <laughs> I secretly love Avril, Levine, Avril there, mate, I love it. Wait, mate, why'd you have to go make things so complicated? <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Tycoon, he gave me his account for WWE Network. I used to watch years ago, like, Ryan Sheckler was young. Oh my god, Ryan Sheckler, I love that dude. D that dude. Him and, like, Paul Rodriguez and, like, Nigel Houston, they were, like, the kids of skating. They were so fucking good. I was a big fan of, like, Rodney Mullen. Like, the creator of pretty much every Flatland trick, like, kickflips, impossibles, pop shove it. Fucking legend. Mike V, just because he used to beat people up. Bam Margera, because sex on legs. Yeah, I'm not afraid to say it, guys. And every time I bring up Bam Margera, Baby Girl always shows me the picture because she actually met him. I'm so jealous. Mullen was amazing. Yeah, Baby Girl met Bam Margera and um, Novak. She has a picture of them both. I'm so fucking jealous. There's a really cool documentary, I can't remember what it's called, I found it on YouTube years ago, Detective, and it was about Rodney Mullen, and a lot of skaters were talking about, like, the influence and everything he had to skateboarding, it was really, really cool. Oh, yes, boy, oh, you missed it properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard, you thieving Nick cunt. You got it all wrong, Wes, all wrong, <laughs> it was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off, now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Iris. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? It's like Jap Jack Septic guys getting beaten up by Anthony Deck. You. When a man with a sing song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> Push anyway, your mind. We all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, Boyle? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my never nerves. Never talk to John Boyle. Marston like and that. And you're man. getting on my nerves. Yeah. I'm oh, just bad with accents. It sounds like them, doesn't it? That guy didn't sound Welsh. Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two. Your wagwan doom. Is that a Welsh accent? Is that how you sound? Just like <laughs> oh, he didn't do it. Did he? Is that a Welsh accent? I can't tell the difference then. What about the gun? It would be my pleasure. Yeah, she's magnificent. Government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but... Yeah, I'm doing great. Sure Thank enough. you, Stu. How are you, man? Miss you, brother. Uh, How you getting on with quarantine? Uh, Higher pitch than yours, but he's definitely well. Oh, my bad, man. I'm right, terrible, actually, man. I'm from Cyprus, man. I don't know. I just need halloumi. And play backgammon, alright? Wagwan. 
Just finished Final Fantasy VII Remake. Loved it. That's good, man. I've seen like a couple of clips. I, I haven't like... Name, I'm not that interested John in buying it personally, and I probably should be, but I never really played it as a kid. So I don't have that nostalgia that everyone else has, but I, you know, I'd like to play it eventually. It does look good. They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that's right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? I Means there's a lot of cool Never accents here in the West channel. And he got Dan Graham, who's got the southern accent. Harshy the, the Posh. Detective Welsh. Stu Landan. And as for that Jade is... He didn't sound very friendly. Where are you from? You've got, you got this... you got... The like, um... Ray Fox? In the army? Scouser? <laughs> Down on. And I'm Turkish, yeah. <laughs> you better not Fuck be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for Ray your Fox help back there. Ray Fox, and I'm in the there. army? I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish? I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You love it? Yes, so scouse, isn't he? You I think that's how Jade speaks as well. You Do you know him in real life, Jade? What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Search the cabin for the machine gun. Okay. I'm gonna go there with my pistol. Guns are blazing, in a sense. Whee! Does he really? <laughs> what the hell do you want? Who the hell is You think you fools can stop me? I used to have a really strong American accent when I lived in... I say strong American accent. Uh, a lot of pronunciations were American and things I said when I used to live in Cyprus. Now we're all having a catch up soon. Oh, that's cool. Meeting up with streamers and viewers is a really cool thing to do. It's how I met Harshi. It's how I met Baby Girl. It's how I'll soon meet Retro. Me and Harshi are going to go soon meet Retro. It's not how I met Dan Graham because I met him at a shop we worked together. You're gonna leave this in a box. Yeah, I did a barbecue a few years back and a lot of viewers came and a couple of streamers I know from Cyprus who that also, like everyone watched. That's how you met Dan. Yeah, that is how you met Dan Gray, and that's true. What have we got here? Yeah, it was really, really nice, Jade. Honestly, it was really nice. You didn't see me, did you? We, we had like a, kind of like how we're growing now you again. We had a really close community. Pick up Harshi. He and I had cool chats around the it's fire at the here. barbecue. That lion sack of shit. We had some cool story hard talks, didn't we, Hashi? <laughs> lion sack of shit. Alright, Seth's right there, so let's go to Seth. That was a very dramatic jump. <laughs> Had to be done. Yeah, right, I can see those scoundrels who are standing there. Ah, oh, please don't hurt me! So yeah, guys, another three weeks of quarantine. Would you guys? Would you guys? How do you guys feel about that? Expected it. Didn't expect it. I kind of expected it. I expected it to go a lot longer than that. To be honest. Go shoot some bitches. Yeah, <laughs> you bitches. Come on. Oh, I can't shoot the ladies unless they're shooting at me. That fucking bitch. Actually, I should have shot her. You hate it, but expected it. Going insane, not working. 
and being home. I'm so used to it right now. So to me, it's just chill. I also got my bike fixed the other day and I went for my first bike ride in ages. I had to go send off um, Resident Evil 2 and 3 to my brother. And um, I bike rode into a different town. It took me fucking... It took me like half hour there, half hour back, and it was killer. I put on so much weight. Uh, I, I, it, it was killer, but... I felt like my old self, Dan, riding bicycles and shit. Good old days. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Do what you need? You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. Yeah, they did a good job fixing it as well. Yeah. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> you got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella. I never liked him. <laughs> they say he lay with his sister. It's the kind of shit you would do, Seth. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammon died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Seth pretty reminds me like that this is a rock star game. Like he reminds me of something that you'd see in GTA, like San Andreas. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place <laughs> right here, I got a feeling oh, the there's rain dance. around there somewhere. <laughs> Classic John though, isn't it? Day left. No need in number two, he's painted as such a stupid person. Here. I feel bad for him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their soul, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> Does he got much so replay by these two? Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Oh, oh god, here we go. Get them damn treasure hunters! Try and outrun them, partner! Jesus! I'm gonna look for the map back here! You try to take those damn rednecks! You're the fucking redneck, dude! No need for money where you're going, friend! All done with this one! Yeats! Hey, this fella's a little right! Bet he's got something on. Bum, 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 Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ooh, oh, oh, a bottle of elixir. Thank you, my slow friend. Down, slow down, slow down, slow Oh, my, oh, my. Sir, there ain't time for a barrier, partner. I think I'm dead. Come on, now. Stay nice, my lovely. This won't take long. Did he say that? He's a little... See, <laughs> we're one big happy family. Yeah! This fella had a few bucks on him. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually, Steve. Do you reckon you'll do some more like that, or have you got anything He's else you're, like, trying to play? Who's got a kiss for sad? That's gross. Make a left! Yes! Here it is! I got the map, mister! I got it! I got it! Oh, sorry, I'll say. Look at these guys fucking drifting around with me. They're nuts. 
That's where I was headed. It's fate. Keep Look going. at him. We're almost there. Come on. We gotta keep moving. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident. Can you see how fast they were going, man? Jesus. My defense, the horse got in my way. We gotta go faster, partner! <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, Steve. Sometimes it's like that with games. <laughs> oh, the poor pug. It still, like, haunts me in my dreams. I, I feel so bad for it. Reported. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh, man. Me on my wildest dreams. Maybe then you can take a bath. Thanks, mister. I feel the same, Stu, except for, like, I, I have odd, odd exceptions, out. like I'm Detroit, for example. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> That's you fucking that so place. bad, isn't it, Jade? <laughs> I can't rap to that music, dude. It needs to have a proper beat. <laughs> like your ass. What? All right. Where's the, um... Where's the next set this shit? Right here. Yeah, but yeah, I get what you mean. Sometimes you need like a little break from them. I mean, I I beat I, I finished uh, Red Dead two three times last year, and each time I had a small little break, and I'll do it again at least once oh, this year. Like that is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, <laughs> the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa! Oh, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Seth, come back here. Yeah, I get that. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Oh, good. Yeah, same. I've just been craving to play it again. I've been craving to play the second one more, but then I was like, I'd like to do both of them. And I didn't want to do it in chronological, because I thought it'd be quite... ...annoying for me, personally, to go from something that's, like... ...graphically amazing, like Red Dead 2, and then go to this, which is... ...still very good-looking. Oh, shit. Me. Is it haunted? It's mine! I found it! Come on, this way! Maybe. The hell where is it? That's my damn treasure! Oh my god, yeah, I'd probably prefer it. Although I, I feel like after playing Red Dead 2 so much, I think I prefer Arthur Morgan. Just walk away. Although I, I like this version of John a lot. Like I was saying, Red Dead Red Dead Red Dead 2 John, they they play him out to be like kind of stupid. Whereas this is quite like quite serious about things. Yeah, same. I would as well. Go on. We Maybe it is haunted then. Man, you're fucking making me nervous, man. I'm just playing Red Dead. Let's check the back. Thing I can't wait for when we do Red Dead 2 is a lot of more exploration to do. I mean, there's loads of exploration to in this, but I feel like there's a lot more. Here we go. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Doing a remaster of Saints Row 3. I'm not a massive fan of Saints Row. Yeah, no, for sure. That, that's how he is. I think that's probably why I prefer him in here. 
Kill them all, mister! Yeah, they really like it. It shows a lot of his growth. I did all the work. Me. If they didn't have Red Dead 2, you wouldn't see it at all, and you just see, think this is how John is. What that but yeah, you see a massive difference in his character, and it's amazing. Never find it. I had it with you bastards. Yeah, he really was. And, and it's funny that as well, because right at the beginning of Red Dead 2, Arthur hates John. Like, he doesn't even want to, uh, he doesn't even want to rescue him, if you remember. Finally, I see the light at the end of Because obviously John had done some questionable things in the past, but still. It's just gonna be rich after all these years. It's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. Yeah, you kind of do. It's like they planned it without planning it. But that's just how good Rockstar is. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And Arthur sort of understandably was like, nah, fuck that. God damn hell is Arthur this? loved Jack and uh, Abigail. What? I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> stupid liars. The stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. The glass eye! <laughs> It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse yeah. to go exhume one of your old friends. So he sees John as like a, a sort of idiot for turning down that. But John like stands up and like mans the sure. fuck up and you see that in the in the sure. epilogue. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens. Uh, you know what, Stu? I would say the same thing actually. It was an amazing journey. I fully agree with you there. I think, and I think a lot of people would. I think that's a really good opinion. <laughs> I was more like, "Where the fuck is John, man?" And then when, yeah, when when John came in, I was like, "This is awesome." I loved any mission where John was a part of it, and we're only cutscene, and you could just hear his voice. I was like, "Yes, I love his voice. My childhood." Right, so we're back off to Irish. I mean, we must be getting close to ready. For taking down that place. No worries, Jade. Go do your thing, dude. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. When I first moved uh, to Bristol, we took a quite... We took a, like a few trips down to... Um, to Bournemouth where baby girl's from and she's got a friend there who owns like a little stable and has some horses and stuff and I was just like right, boy like every time <laughs> war now boy I can't every time I see a horse now that's literally how I talk you're right now boy tell me pat a horse that's a good kill <laughs> Boy off. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Man is born into trouble. Oh, is this the one with the um, <laughs> boy versus boy? This one with the little minecart. Who do you hurt? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us <laughs> one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I feel you, Steve. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. 
It's the whiskey, sir. It gives oh, I miss whiskey. A new There's a new Jack Daniels it's in apple. Looks really good. Be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, then. We'll find your precious gun. I think I, 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 I definitely prefer the story of two, but I love the... I do love the story of this one. The, the cutscenes are really good and the dialogue's amazing. It's a really well-written game. Let's go, my dude. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? Writing into it is just insanely good. No, it is. Rockstar is just amazing at the way they write games, so. You're at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, it's the opposite for GTA. I don't agree. I love GTA. I love the writing of GTA. Try to cross me again. It's like Four Story more than Four. Oh, I see what you mean. Intentions were pure. I swear. I don't, but I love Four. I prefer Five, but I do love Four a lot. Honest mistake. I need to play. um... I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Let me say it for ages. Let's play the Ballad of Gay Tony gun, and the Lost and Damned. Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap. It is, yeah, it definitely is very Where memorable. He was a very cool character. Gun. Very unique as well. Should somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked. You can swallow nails and spit out corkscrew. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined <laughs> to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Nico is just that quite a serious guy. character. We should go around to Compared to like so Michael, Trevor and Franklin. Franklin. Like Franklin, Franklin was quite serious. With a machine gun. Miners are always but he was also like we were saying, he just sick and tired of everything. He just couldn't be asked. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Easy there. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. Feel better to get Tony balanced the tone much better. Yeah. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a yeah, I can understand that, Stu, quite a bit. Heavy ore. That definitely makes we, sense. I mean, you can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with these sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Open fire! Back, bitches. Welcome back, yo. Wagwan, how was your walk? Can use the Reaper or I've got that one that's the golden gun. The man with the golden gun. That's me. Don't, 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 don't. He's here for the gun. Stop. 
He's here for the gun. Walk through this. Son of a horse. I mean, she was across the street, but still. Someone in the mine. Oh my god. Oh, 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 I your nose, bro. Ah, you fatty. What the? I thought we were friends. Uh, hello? Why am I doing that? Oh, they shot the one, idiots. The idiots. That did escalate quickly, yo. Ah, my leg! Well, I can see some red. Now you did. Maybe not. You bunch of schoolgirls! <laughs> what a fucking insult, John. Come on, man. You're a cowboy. Looks like what do you want a bunch of girls? Hey. Better than that. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. Is that guy dead? <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's like, ah, my leg. Fucking dead now, bitch. Oh, here we go. Hey, you can't aim as well. What's going on above ground? Okay, it stopped. Here we go. Down, 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 down. What? I thought there was going to be some baddies. At your carps being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. He is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the trick? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down below. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. Here we go. Look at John's feet. I was moonwalking somehow. You really want to die? 
Here we go. Oh shit. Hey, idiot. Whee! Best fun ever. I'll do this in IRL, yo. <laughs> What did I tell you? Piece of cake! What did I tell you? Piece of cake! Worst accent ever. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do it. Let's I meant like impression of an accent. Assured we ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. All right. 